All right, now every year when the fishing gets right, Paul's got the bait cut and ready to go, he'll give us a call. These boys, y'all come on down. I think we can catch a few. Can you bait? This time we're gonna make a weekend of it. We're gonna do some fishing and a little hog hunting with Brother Kenyon. First thing that happens, old Kenyon and Bruce Mitchell come over and pick us up. We're in the boat with us. Two of the most famous Louisiana men they are. All right, here we go. We gator hunting now. All right, y'all. I got my new boat down here. <laughs> down here. Yeah, right. Paul ain't got enough room for me to park it here at this camp. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good. What do you hey, mean? All right. It's good. It's good. It's good. Hey, hey what's hey, going what's on? Tell you what, we made right. it. Down. I'm just telling you what boss man told me. Y'all see that hat? Let me see it. Let me see that. There it is. Uh, oh. <laughs> hey, boys, doing? Good. All right. Good. 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 Look at that's that nice, good stuff. Oh, nah, that Brucey. <laughs> that Brucey. I was just over here. Oh, you heard what Bruce said when he pulled out? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty Brooke, sure Brooke I caught the big it. one, you know. Brooke claimed it. That's right. Stubbs. He kept talking about how he was going to top my big fish, but as you can see, it didn't happen that way. We'll see. Well, we're going to see what happens this trip. We'll see. No one down in the bed. We hook beef over here. One more batch of them. I don't want nobody to run out. One more batch. That's what you saw right there, right out the box, y'all. So we eat us some fish, some french fries, and some hush puppies, and we're just waiting on it to get dark so we can go set out some lines. Boys, we have made well, it to the Southern catfish. Boys Outdoor. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. That, that's when you made it to the line over there. Top notch. Top notch. Oh, yeah. Right. Take some Here we go. Time to go put out the hooks. Uh, Paul and usually have us about 50 noodles ready. We hit the water. Then we get ready, we'll go. Right. This year we can actually go under the low bridge. I mean, when that water's up and down, it's pretty wild down there. Uh, but we actually ain't, we don't have to go all the way around this time like we sometimes do. Ha <laughs> ha! Paul made, made it. Paul made it. You feel that weight in there? Yeah. The weight has to be on the new lid, just like that. And when you set it down, just lay it flat. Lay it down there like that. That's it. all the noodles out, get them all baited up, and we're gonna let them sit and come back and pick them up the next morning. Man, we fixing to go get some of the biggest catfish ever been known to man. We'll get catfish to eat people, I wouldn't doubt, right here, Joe. What are you thinking? I got that feeling this morning. You ready? Yeah, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> he broke. He broke off. Yeah. That's a gator. Does then let the first one get away. 
They said it was a gator. Oh, well. Really? A gator. Yeah, that was that was a big one. I just had to pull him off, so he didn't want to come up. First couple ones we come to don't have anything on them, and as we're riding around, we spot a bunch of gators. It just seems like the gators are out that morning. They're everywhere. Well, it's not too much further down the canal before we start picking up some fish, and Stubbs is on the board first. I get to catch the first one, and it's probably going to be smaller than Brooks. I don't know what it is about that dang Brooks Sanders. I can catch four in a row, think I'm doing good, and the next noodle will be Brooks' turn, and he's going to catch the biggest fish. You're scared of you, Brooks? Yeah, he's scared. Well, after Stubbs, of course, it's my turn to catch one. You know, I'm sure this next fish is going to probably be a big one because I catch big fish. You know, that's just how it goes. We're going to get him this time. Good. Get the net. Get the net. It had to be broke. Look at that sucker right there. Got <laughs> somebody. Oh. About to turn the boat over. I knew it. Broke always has to get the big one. I you see, it. I, I passed the other one off to you. You I've go for this one first. I've seen that. I could tell this one was bigger, way bigger. Let's do a comparison. Stubbs versus Brooke. <laughs> I get all the dirty. <laughs> Brooke is down that rip. Hey, I mind it's a 40 pound. First yellow cat. Yeah, that's what I'd mainly ask. I let Brooke get the mother. Yeah, I do that with the yellow cat. That's why I let you get it. Well, we end up catching a good mess of fish. We got all the noodles picked up. Now it's time to head back to the camp and clean some fish. I got no yellow cat on this trip. flat-headed thing. He's talking about some good eating. That's where it's at right there. That's what I come for right there, folks. Look at one blue thing out of this.
shot. No. <laughs> Look at that son. We got two of I want to hit you with this big fish. Yeah. I need a picture of that. Yeah, you need a picture of that, like always. Well, in the meantime, all this is going on, Paul's got a hog trap set, and he's got a bunch of hogs that have been coming in. Well, that morning, he caught a whole mess of them. So as soon as we got done cleaning the fish, it was time to go check that trap. Can we thank you? A little warm out here. Yeah, I'm gonna start the truck. I'm gonna get my piece here right. Well, it ended up the hogs were not around, nowhere to be seen, so we went ahead, went up there to the trap, took care of these hogs and loaded them up, headed them back to the skinning shed. We got these six pigs out of the trap a little bit ago and uh, come over here to, to Paul LeBlanc at LeBlanc Skinny Shed here. We got Stubbs and, and Paul in there working, Kenyon back here. People working too. The most important thing to do when you shoot pigs and it's this, this uh, time of the year and it's hot is to get them cooled down quick. So we got ice on them immediately and then drove over here. And now we're keeping them cool with water. Trying to keep it cool with a water hose while they're skinning the other one. So uh, as soon as we get them skint, they go straight into the cooler. It's gonna be some fine eating right here. We're gonna throw the whole hog on a, a grill. Stuff has got a, a grill at his house that will allow us to do that. So we're gonna we're gonna cook them up as soon as we get the chance. All right, boys, it's time to feed the old gator. The old gator done got hungry up. Now, I'd always wanted to be part of skinning something in the famous LeBlanc skinning shed, and I got my chance. You come to get some more crabs. Do y'all have any? I have a few left. All right. You got four dozen? Yeah. Sure do. Grass. It's gonna be good, Paul. They're gonna be good. I got them here two weeks ago and they were delicious. So. Well, y'all have a great day. We know y'all gonna eat good. Well, we think it's so. We've been told. It know. just takes a little time. You can't rush. Don't, don't rush. Don't, don't rush it. All right, that's good. That's good. Enjoy Everybody. the work. Thank you, man. We appreciate it. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, sir. Y'all have a good one. We're facing to learn how to eat these bad boys. Okay. Yeah. Watermelon. We got drink trucks. We got some real Louisianians. We got drink trucks. Just the teachers. I eat crab. <laughs> Kenyon and Paul is as bad to compete as me and Brooke. So we got two different ways of how to eat the crab. I mean, they broke it down and. Really, this is a number two. It's not a number one. Uh, usually, the number one is a little bit bigger than that, but. Uh, Really, all you can find nowadays is number two crabs. The number one crabs, they send them all up north, up to uh, Maryland. Uh, and, uh... 
if it broke right. That's out of the door, it's pushing for it. Two set. Dang. That's good. Alright, first lesson I do. Break that off, get that meat. Then I break that and off, and I get that meat. Then you break at that first little joint right there. Take that knife on that high side. And you just kind of wiggle it like a loose tooth when you get it broke off. This will be the last, but this is the best part that I like. Then I take my finger. See that meat right there in that thing? You come around and get that meat out. But the crab, then you take this right here. Stick that under that thing right there. Pop it out. Alright, break it off like that. Then you just take that leg, take the shell. Then you got all that meat right there. You start with your finger right there at the end. And you get all that, that meat out of there. Joe, you put that on screen, Buck? I'm gonna need an instant replay. The instant replay? I'll show you once I finish it. Well, Kenyon wasn't gonna let Paul outdo him, you know. He said, boys, I got big hogs. You need to come over and hunt the evening at my place. Where we head? We are getting in behind this SBO truck. We're going to set in some swamp. Kenyon has got us one lined up. It's going to be there at 622. It's 548. We just left the SBO store. We're following the SBO truck. And we're going to go and get a uh, 300 pound sow, so Brother Kenyon says. We don't know what Brooks gonna do. Well, I'm just gonna chill. <laughs> Have a good time. Probably. Maybe. You and the feeder, shoot the feeder. Kill the hog. It don't matter about the feeder. We can bag it. <laughs> it doesn't matter, just shoot it. That's it. Y'all gonna just walk right down here? <laughs> 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 Why the hell I get my yeah. yeah. Why did we open it? Why not just... I think we've been gar hole. What do you think? I think we've been gar hole. I think we've been gar hole. They were mighty... They were mighty tickled to pull up here. <laughs> I'll put a plow. Hey! 
you just shoot up in the air calling for like relief out of that We're hot blast? Calling for water. Calling for water? Y'all just shot up in the air hollering for water? Yeah, or? We got, he was ready. No, I, mine was beyond ready. <laughs> I told Brooke I said, look, them hogs on a tripod where Paul was saying, I bring Brooks over there. They've been there. They stayed there for an hour and a half. Yeah, really? Oh, yeah. Laying down. They've been there a long time. Probably 10 or 12 of them. Really? Oh, I can hear Paul now. I told you so. Well, but Paul was right. Well, that one got here. There was no There wasn't no way. other ones with it? Huh? There were three. Three? Yeah. Uh, Nothing wrong with that, dude. That's the way to hang in there. I know it was hot. Me and Brooks were sitting over there on the porch of the house. It was tough on us. And then we were sweating. Oh, I was like, yeah. Put it right here on the door. That right there, that is the place to be. And I can say, I can now say that hand in hand, side by side, I have cleaned something in the skinning shed with Paul Block standing right side and he kind of showing me the way. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> we were sitting on the porch. I just want you to know. I just want you to know I unfollowed you. <laughs> we were sitting on the porch. And I told Brooke, I said, "Man, it's hot out here. We need to get out of there." We went inside. That ain't even right. That ain't even right. We sweated for.